Hi, I'm Corey with Planet Rentals. Today we're going to go over how to operate one of our most popular concession items, our soft serve machine. It is super popular at weddings, family reunions, and other birthday parties and get togethers. It's really just a lot of fun to have at your next event. It's super easy to operate. The main thing you just need to make sure is that you have adequate power at your event. It does plug into just a standard household plug, but it does need a dedicated 20 amp breaker. So the way you can test that is you go back to the breaker box for the breaker that controls the outlet you'll be plugging it into. And the breaker is numbered with a 10, a 15, a 20, or even a 30 amp. This does need a dedicated 20 amp circuit to run. Now one of the main keys to running the machine is making sure that the top hopper here stays full of your ice cream product. There's a white bar here in the top and you want to make sure that the product is full at least to that white bar at all times. So it's good to have someone just to continually top off the top here. Now one other thing, before you turn on the machine, you want to make sure that the product has bubbled down into the cylinder here, the cooling cylinder. You'll see it bubble as it goes down into the machine and you want to make sure that it has completely stopped bubbling so that hopper is completely full of product. Now once you're full and ready to go, there's two switches here on the front. You'll actually turn both of them to the right hand side and you should hear a quiet fan kick on. That's not actually cooling the ice cream, that's just the cooling fan. There's also a reset button here on the front you may need to push. At that point, you then put the bucket under the spigot to catch the product that comes out and you pull down on the lever to prime the machine and kick on the compressor. And you'll hear that compressor kick on as I pull down on this lever. You generally need to hold it for about five seconds or so. At that point, I would just pour the product that came out while I was holding the lever back in the top and you can hear the compressor running. Now it takes about five or seven minutes to cool the product in the chamber here to where it's normal edible ice cream. So if after five or seven minutes has elapsed and you don't have ice cream, there's some other problem going on. Now we include this hydraulic cart with the ice cream machine. It makes loading and unloading from your vehicle and transporting the ice cream machine to your event a lot easier. Now you don't have to leave it on the cart to serve your product, but you're welcome to. You can see that it pumps the machine up to a serving height, but you can also lift the tray and ice cream machine up onto a table and serve it that way, or you can even pull the machine out of the tray. All of these things just help us get it into your vehicle and also help you get the ice cream machine transported. We also send a mixing bucket with the machine for you. This is great for the powder mixes that we sell that taste really great and complement the machine really well. To mix those powder mixes, you just fill this bucket up to the red line with water, then dump in your mix, and then we also include a whisk here to mix the product up nice and smooth. It's important that you do have nice, creamy, smooth product to put into the machine. If there's ever any little powder clogs or clumps in the mixture, it will cause problems with the flow of the product. Lastly, we have the metal bar that's also included with the machine. You don't put this in the top of the machine until your product has finished bubbling down into the cooling chamber. But you do want to put it in before you start cooling your product and before you prime the machine with the front lever. That bar just adds some air to the mixture of soft serve ice cream so that it's a little bit creamier. It's not real critical to the operation of the machine, but the manufacturer includes it and so we also include it. Now once your event's over and it's time to kind of rinse out the machine, you can take that mixing bucket we've given you and fill it up with water and dump it into the machine. However, it's critical that you have turned the machine off and let it sit for about a half hour. That cooling chamber gets so cold that if you dump water right into the machine while it's still cold, it'll freeze into a block of ice and then your product won't flow through to rinse out. So unplug it, wait about 30 minutes, and then you can rinse through your product. Again, power is the most critical factor to running the machine. Now the machine itself has about a six foot cord and you'll want to back that up and ideally plug it straight into a wall. If you're not able to reach with the cord that's attached to the machine, we do rent extension cords for $5. We don't allow any other extension cord to be used with the machine because we can't certify the thickness or gauge of that extension cord or the condition that it's in. Now there's a capacitor inside the machine 
that will go bad if it's tried to run with inadequate power. When you pull down that lever and try to run the compressor, if it doesn't get adequate power, it will blow that capacitor. Now we test the machine between every use to make sure that it's ready to go for your event. But if you try to repeatedly run the machine with inadequate power, it will damage the machine. And unfortunately, then you will be responsible for the repair. Now again, we rent the extension cords. That's $5 for just a 50 foot extension cord, nice and heavy gauge and certified to use the machine with. We know you'll really enjoy our soft serve machine at your next event. Thank you so much for choosing Planet Rentals.